Pardon the interruption, but I'm Keith Olbermann, and I'm happy Tony invited me here because I have some things I want to get off my chest. I'm Tony Kornheiser. Good evening, and welcome to the end of our careers. Uh, I, where have I heard that before? It's yours. It was your original line. It's times I've been here already. It was what, ESPN 2? ESPN 2 in black and white in the year 1857. And you had on a leather jacket, as I recall? It was 48 degrees in the studio. Leather That's what I was wearing. The, leather. the man management told me to do that. Really, blame everything on management. It's the way to go. Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. Wilbon is out ruining a golf course, so I feel lucky to be joined by my new best friend, Keith Olbermann. Thank you. Thank you. And we begin today with Sean Miller's forceful denial that he ever gave anybody money or talked about giving anybody money and his statement that he intends to coach the Arizona basketball team again right now. Keith, what did you make of Sean Miller when we watched it? I used to work in a business of non-denial denials, and we have plenty of them in sports. This is a non-non-denial denial. If this isn't true, if there's some part of it that isn't true, if the facts are just being massaged so he could say that, he's going to be, it's going to be the end of his career. But to me, he was this close to saying, and I'm suing over this. It I was, was convinced. It was very forceful. Yep. It was very forceful, and, and so you... you you go back a little bit, because we've both been reporters, yep. and you know how terrible it is to get something wrong. You never want to get something wrong. You go back, and so my first question to myself is, well, okay, but then why did he walk away even for a day? Mm -hmm. why, why did he walk away? And I'm sure there's an answer to that. And, and the second thing that informs me, because we've seen these things before, I totally bought into Ryan Braun. Oh, when yeah. Ryan Braun stood out there on that baseball field and he said, I never did this, I never did that, we were in here, I'm saying... That's the bet. I am, I'm in 100%, and it turns out he was lying. I'm, I'm not suggesting Sean Miller is lying. I'm saying that there's a certain distance that we have when we pull back, and I can honestly say I don't know. I think that's the, the, the right position for all of us to have. We don't know because there is also a construction in which everything we've heard is true. The story is true because that's what the source heard or thought he heard, and maybe the misidentification is on a tape somewhere where somebody said, that's Sean Miller, and in fact, it's some, somebody's super, somebody's apartment building. It's we don't know. Better, it's always better to see it in print or hear it in your ear. It's yep. always better. But I do think that the force of the letters FBI, that carries a lot of weight. If you're working a source and the source is in the FBI, you ascribe to that source a little more purity of motive, I think, than you might to somebody else. We all know that money has been given for years and mm -hmm. years and years, money, services, whatever, to players, to family. I mean, my initial reaction is if someone is named, I sort of think maybe they did it. But Sean Miller came out today, boom. Yeah, boom. I was... I was impressed. Yeah, no, it was. It it could not have been more forceful, unless I, I mean, I, unless he lit himself on fire or something in protest for what was reported. I I I, I can't believe, but he could be Ryan Braun. Well, this is it. Like six months from now, right. we could be having this discussion, and it's completely <laughs> opposite. Those guys were idiots that day. The good news, though, Tony, is this whole let's play or pay the players thing. This has been settled by Jay Williams. The ESPN analyst says, forget unionizing, forget a protest, do not pass go, do not collect $200, boycott the final four, young players. Tony, would a player boycott of the final four be effective? I, I don't know that we're ever going to see a player boycott of the final four. These are 18 and 19 and 20 year old kids. And you're saying to them, you're saying to them, in the greatest achievement of your life, yes. to play in the final four, walk away, not just for yourselves, but for generations to follow. I'm not sure. Uh, Jay Williams played in Final Four. Mm -hmm. Jalen Rose, who has also come out similarly and said the players should boycott, played in the Final Four. Yeah. I'm not sure at 18 and 19 they would have walked away. Not, not only will everyone at the school hate you, everyone will hate you, but you, 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 you sort of run the risk that the players on the teams, not everybody's going to the NBA, Keith. Yeah. The other players on the teams, this is their this is one it. shot, and you're asking them to all walk? I don't know. Right, and this is theoretically why they went to college in the first place and participate in this one-and-done thing. The other thing about Jay's idea is, a, a, as you suggest, how feasible is this? A strike, a general strike by 325 million Americans in favor of college basketball players getting paid, that would also work. Are we going to be able to achieve that as no, well? No, no, no. That's, no, and that's not going to happen. These things sound great. Yeah. What do, and LeBron James has said that the NCAA has to change and players should be paid. And I think we all agree that players should get something. Mm -hmm. And I think within five years they are going to get something, likeness or something like that. But what do LeBron James and Jalen Rose and Jay Williams have in common? They're in their 30s and their 40s, and they were pros. 
They know what it's like to earn money. How, you know, go back to when you're 18 or 19, and this is the thing you've lived for all those short years. You've lived for this and walk away? No, I, I can't see it. Particularly, let's say it's Duke. You, Mike Krzyzewski does not have 12 other guys he can trot out there and play and do a reasonable facsimile of the Final Four this year, and they're in a room with glass on it that says, in the event of emergency, break, break glass. glass. Yeah, and the other, the other part of this is that, that you're at this school with this coach. The greatest influence in your life at 18, 19, 20 is finally your college coach. I mean, I think you got to get rid of one and dones, but it's your college coach. You think a college coach is going to say, kids, this is a great idea. Let's, let's stand up at the barricades just like right. in Les Mis. They're not going to do going it. Going directly to the last possible measure that you'd want to do. And the point being also, what about their next employers, if you want to use that term? How's that look if you're trying to get we a trust job them. in the NBA? We trust that.